Hello VC, hello vinyl community. I hope you are fine everybody and you are coping with the current situation. Now um, I thought I would drop a little video that uh, has a kind of an underlying theme. Uh, I will show 15 quite excellent and quite wonderful uh, in parts rather flawless albums that have all one thing in common. They are all rather uplifting. So this is kind of the right music for the life in isolation. So let's start. First the album Just Family by Dee Dee Bridgewater. Wonderful soul music, um, an album that came out 1978 I think and uh, um, well to call it seminal is probably an understatement. This is certainly a milestone of soul music. Um, I mean, the lineup is rather ridiculous, if you ask me. Stanley Clark, Chico Ria, George Duke, Alfonso Johnson, Ayrton Moreira. Holy shit. So uh, this was produced by Stanley Clark. And uh, this is a wonderful album that uh, is quite healing for the soul. The next one is probably a little less known. Um, this is a compilation that came out the beginning of the 90s called Jazz Combosa. Um, those are mostly, I think, mostly Japanese bands. Um, this was actually one of the very early compilations uh, kind of reflecting the upcoming era of sort of new jazz and uh, Latin house and um, yeah, this is a very, this is a very calm and very um, uncomplicated music, so to speak, uh, almost uh, with a touch of wallpaper, but at the same time pretty charming. I'm particularly partial to a track like Summer Rain by Gleeps or uh, Sol de Primavera by Arco Iris. Um, also, probably with the exception of DJ Matsuoka most, and Nobukazu Takemura, uh, most of the artists here are well, slightly forgotten at this point in time. So uh, this is Jess Combosa. Came out on 99 records. Uh, yeah, in 1993. So this is a, a rather early compilation from that particular genre of music. Now the next one is a zinger. This is the Ananda Shankar Experience and the State of Bengal Walking On. This came out 1999 on Peter Gabriel's Real World label. And this is an amazing album. This is a 10 for me. I mean, if you, if you like Hindustani sound and good old stoner psych music, this is for you. But at the same time, it has a very spiritual, very uplifting feel to it. And um, if you don't know this album, I can really recommend it. This is all instrumental, obviously. Um, I, I mean, the, th the central theme of this record is uh, all these battles between um, a sitar and a bass guitar. And um, it's really fun to listen to this. It's a wonderful record, one of my favorite albums. Let's show the backside as well. Brilliant stuff. Yeah, Mystical Adventures by Jean-Luc Ponty. It's probably not best album by Jean-Luc Ponty, but it has a very charming demeanor. Uh, this is one of his 80s albums and uh, a lot of synthesizer stuff, um, but it's kind of Nicely atmospheric. It's a rather pleasant listen and um, probably the right kind of music right now. So this is uh, Mystical Adventures, Jean-Luc Ponty. Uh, overall, a rather cool record. In the City of Angels, one of the 80s albums by John Anderson. Probably his poppiest one, but uh, what a great record. Uh, the entire overly positivistic attitude of John Anderson comes to fruition here. Uh, this is quite a easy going record um, and uh, good fun to listen to. Now the next one is Who's Afraid of the Art of Noise? Art of Noise, obviously a electronic sampling experimental band from the 80s uh, and Dudley, Trevor Horn um, yeah, this is a fascinating album with its own handwriting, with its own 
style and uh, certainly a milestone in the history of electronic music, uh, very pioneering and at the same time in parts a very dreamy and uh, atmospheric listen. I mean probably everybody knows tracks like uh, Moments in Love or Beatbox. So this is certainly a seminal album of the 80s, came out in 1984. Now, no isolation can go without this wonderful album, the Tom Tom Club, the debut album. Um, what more do you need? This is quite wonderful. Uh, beautiful, uplifting atmosphere, super charming. Uh, Adrian Bellew is playing here. Um, so this is a truly a classic album from the early 80s, uh, from uh, one part of the Talking Heads. Conscience by Womack and Womack. This is a beautiful family-friendly album. Uh, great pop music with a touch of soul and funk and disco to it. Um, and uh, and overall a nice record. Circle of Love by the Steve Miller Band. I think the Steve Miller Band is still my favorite American group. And uh, this album here it's very sweet, very uplifting. Um, obviously the B-side is all covered by the highly misunderstood uh, track Macho City. And uh, I think this kind of music gets re-appreciated in our times probably more than it did back in the day. Now something very different, Colorful You by Miguel Mix. Now this is uh, Deep House through and through with a touch of uh, well, new jazz or garage or a bit of a Latin house, however you want to call it. Uh, this is a double album by Miguel Mix, you know, good grooving music. And finally the 1986 album by Sheila E. Um, great uh, performer, excellent drummer and percussionist, um, coming from a highly musical family. I also have this 12 inch here um, from this period of time. So that's it. I hope there was something in my selection that maybe inspired you to give it a spin or a listen. Um, this stuff can probably all be found on Spotify or wherever. And um, yeah, take care of you, be careful and stay healthy of course. Goodbye.